Hey Projection Mappers, this is Dan Phillips from Phillips Projections and you are watching one of the videos in my DaVinci Resolve tutorial series. In this video, we are going to take a brief pause for just a little bit of house cleaning. If this was a cooking show and Amberelle was walking by, she would be freaking out at me because this is starting to get disorganized. And I'll tell you what, if you're already starting to feel disorganized at this point, just wait until you get into a much more complex show that you are building upon building upon building and you have a lot of things going on in your media pool. So before we get too far ahead and too in the weeds where you're like, ah, forget it, let's do some cleanup. All right, so we are over here. We are in the editing tab. You can be in really any of these tabs as long as you have the media pull over or you can even go into this media tab. This is another good spot that you can do it. So this media tab hasn't gotten a lot of love so let's head on over to the media tab. You'll notice that I have a few different clips going on in here. Now this is one big media storage pool should we say where all of our files are all together here but I like to start organizing mine into some folders just so it's easier for me to grab because right now I only have two masks but in reality as I get into my more complex shows I have almost all of my masks in there so I'm looking at like 15 masks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over into this section and I'm going to right click and I'm going to click new bin and I'm going to name this bin masks. Now that I have this bin, when I click on it, it's empty. So let's fill it. I'm going to fill it with these masks so I can go ahead, click, drag and drop, boom, click, drag and drop, boom, and it's in. Now when I click on masks, it's there. And now when I'm looking in my media pool, I see that I have my nice clean masks folder and things put away. Now I see this timeline. I know exactly what this timeline is. This is my scene. So I'm going to do Griswold lights scene. And I'm going to have that there. So now I'm going to go over, I'm going to click a new bin and I'm going to put in timelines or you can even write scenes, whatever works for you. All right, so here we go and perfect. Now I have timeline scenes. So I can really take this timeline and I can click and drag and drop it over here or I can even drop it right in the folder there. Easy, all right. Video clips is another one. So new bin, videos, new bin, audio, new bin, green screen, effects. Okay, so you're just creating these bins and it helps you get everything in and organized. So you know where to expect everything. So I'm going to take this I'm going to take all three of these and actually add them right into my videos. Boom. All right. So this was a really quick hit where I'm showing you how to clean up some of your folders. And the main thing was looking at the media pool. Another thing that you can clean up is fusion. So I'm going over into the fusion tab. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying the tutorial so far. There is a lot of time and research that I put into all of these tutorials. It is great that we have platforms like this that I can help share and spread the knowledge. These tutorials are ad supported and from donations from generous viewers like you. In an effort to further share the information, give a better experience for the viewers, share files and resources, as well as support the channel monetarily, I created a website and a course. The website houses a lot of information, 
and resources from many great contributors in the projection mapping community. It is updated regularly as new useful resources become available. The course, that's another resource that is continuing to grow. It acts as an organized and ad-free experience. There is exclusive content and resources that are included with the course enrollment. For instance, the media used in the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation tutorial series? Well, that's in the course, included for free. You just need a click to download. The final platform is the store. In the store, you will find different resources that are available for purchase at reasonable prices. Keep an eye out for coupons and specials, especially during the off season. All of the funds that are raised are reinvested back into the growth of the channel through purchases of hardware, software, and other things that can be used to create new tutorials, reviews, and demonstrations. There are two free things that you can do right now to support the channel. Please like this video and subscribe below. The more likes and followers that we have, the more likely companies are to send loaner or demo resources for us to work with and share on this website, all free for you to access. I thank you for your time and consideration of supporting this channel. Please enjoy the remainder of your free tutorial. Here we are over in the Fusion tab. Now, there is another way to organize these nodes as well that could be very helpful as you are making your way through this process. Unfortunately, just in where we're at and how we're using this, I have it very simple. You have a mask, you have the, the me media in, you have the media out, it's done. Now, these nodes will eventually become very complex as you are working on videos and adding multiple effects within one video or one clip, should we say. So this will become more complex as it goes and I'll just demo on this because it really is two steps. First step, you can do things in a linear fashion if you have multiple ones, it might help to have them spanned out. No matter where you move this, you can see the connectors will make sense. It will keep moving around to make the most sense. So if it, you have a lot going on here and you want it nice and tight, you can do that. It won't break any of the connections no matter where you move it. It will just um, maneuver the lines. Another thing that might help is if you are having a hard time picturing it going this way, horizontal, you can make it vertical as well. You can just take these, move it, and it can be vertical. So you can follow it that way if that helps you. Um, I usually just leave it here because it defaults it and I'm good with that. Next thing, if these things get a little wonky, you can right click and you can go to line up all tools to grid and it will snap it to a grid. If you don't like where it snapped it, move it closer to a line and snap it again and there it goes. That's another thing that you can do. Also, you can zoom in and out. You can go into the scale and you can back it up a bit if that helps you because you'll have multiple things. You can also set bookmarks over here by clicking add bookmark and it will snap you to all different places. Now, as you get grow things more complex, more complex, I recommend using an underlay. So, I'm going to take these three and I'm going to select them and then I will go into the tools and there's a couple ways you can right click go to add tool and then pick it from there or you can hit hold shift and then space and it will bring it right to the select tool shortcut you are going to type in underlay or UND and then click add and watch what happens Ooh, all right, it created a boundary box that goes around these. Now that I have the underlay, I can go ahead and with this underlay, if I click and grab it, I can move and anything that is in that underlay will move along with it, still maintaining all of the connections. If I click off of that and then I hold Alt or Option and then click on the underlay, it will just select the underlay. And then I can hit F2 or I can right click and go down to rename and I can change this. So 
A good name for this would be, well, this is adding the garage mask. So I will put garage mask on video. And then OK. And there it is, garage mask on video. I know exactly what that is. So there is a couple different things that you can do to organize your Fusion tab as well as your Media tab. I really recommend starting off with this early or as early as possible because it really will help you keep everything nice and organized. And the more organized you are, the easier it is to find things or to figure out what you did when something doesn't go right uh, a little bit later on. It really is very helpful. So I hope you learned something new from this video and maybe got some ideas on how you can organize your own materials. And if you would like to learn more about DaVinci Resolve or projection mapping in general, please make sure you go to my YouTube channel, Phillips Projections, and like and subscribe and check out some of our other videos that we have on there. Uh, you can also hit me up in the comments or send me an email and I would be happy to help you as you make your way through this process. Thanks.